So if I go back to home here and I hit run, we're gonna ask it the same thing. So how do I make an API call in voice hello? So what this is doing now is it is taking this question and it's looking at the agent that I've built. If it can't find a trigger on the canvas, and we'll talk about those later for things like book a demo or you know, submit a ticket, then it's gonna send that question to the knowledge base and try to actually come up with an answer. So you can see here, the answer was great. So let's ask another question like, what is the messages step? So this is again gonna go through that same process of saying, is there anything in the agent that I should trigger? If not, let's send this question to the knowledge base and provide an answer. So you can see here, let me drag a message. So pretty good. And if I hover over the brain, it's gonna show me exactly where this actually came from. So these are the documents that it, that it sourced the answer from. But what happens if I ask a question that it doesn't actually have the answer to in the documentation? So if I hit run here and I ask it something like, what kind of pizzas can I order? That information obviously isn't in the knowledge base and you can see it says, sorry, I didn't get that, please try again. So what's happening here is that it's actually, if I go into my project settings and I scroll down, it's hitting this, it's called the global no match. So if your agent can't find something that it wants to trigger in, in, in your design, and it can't find an answer in the knowledge base, it's gonna go right to your no match. So if I hit edit here, you can see that it says, sorry, I didn't get that, please try again. Now, if I wanted to, I could have it actually just look at a general AI model. So I could hit generative and pick the model that I want and have it you know, communicate the answer back to the user. So if I turn that on and I go back to my canvas here and I say something like, what pizzas can I order? Now, because there's no answer in the knowledge base, it's actually just gonna send that to a general AI model to try and answer it. So it says, hey, you know, I don't really have specific information on pizzas, but I would check with your local pizzeria. So you can turn that on if you want your agent to be a bit more fluid and not have any static answers. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna keep that off uh, and have it be a static response that says, sorry, I didn't get that. 